welcome to our concert. On this day, 106 years ago, the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps made immortal the name of Anzac when they set out to capture the Gallipoli Peninsula. 8,000 lost their lives. And this understandably had a profound impact on Australians at home. And so the 25th of April became the day on which Australians remembered the sacrifice of those who had died in the war. Today, we remember with gratitude the men and women who have given and continue to give in serving so that we may enjoy freedom and peace. As we reflect, of course, we are also reminded that the ultimate peace that we can experience has been made possible for all of humanity through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ.
They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. No greater law, no greater love. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind. Love your neighbour as yourself. Love one another as I have loved you. Love that sacrifices all. Sir. Would it help if I shed a tear? I swear it's the first time since this time last year. My spine is a tingle. My throat is all dry as I stand to attention for all those who died. I watch the flag dancing halfway down the pole. That damn bugle player sends chills to my soul. I feel the pride and the sorrow. There's nothing the same as standing to attention on Anzac Day. So sir, on behalf of the young and the free, will you take a message when you finally do leave to your mates who are lying from Tobruk to the Somme? The legend of your bravery will always live on. I've welcomed Olympians back to our shore. I've cheered baggy green caps and watched wallabies score. But when I see you marching, sir, in that parade, I know these are memories that will never fade. So, sir, on behalf of the young and the free, will you take a message when you finally do leave? It's the least we can do, sir, to repay the debt. We'll always remember you lest we forget.
will always remember you, lest we forget. love of all is a love that sacrifices all. And this great love is demonstrated when a person sacrifices his life for his friends. So much is changing in our world, and yet so much remains the same. What remains the same is people searching in ever creative ways to discover purpose and meaning in their lives. What remains the same is the very fact that sure and certain hope is available in the gospel of Jesus Christ, who gave his life for all of humanity. What also remains the same is the very simplicity of the gospel, that all we need do is ask and God will receive us as his children. The essence of humanity's search for purpose and meaning is ultimately a spiritual battle. In the book of Romans chapter 5 and verse 1, we're told that we can have peace with God because of everything that Jesus Christ has done for us. The band is going to bring to you a piece that in so many respects echoes this very theme. It's the classic piece, The Triumph of Peace by Eric Ball. And in it, you're going to hear about the spiritual and also the turmoil of our world, the battle that is experienced. And ironically, this piece was written just before the outbreak of World War II. The music initially portrays the urgency and the unrest in our world, and you'll sense that through the busy, chromatic opening that you'll hear. And what follows is a message of hope with the song Peace in Our Time, O Lord, played by the cornet. That promise, interspersed with reminders of the challenge that we face, builds until the final climax when the whole band boldly proclaims and declares that peace in our time is available, is possible when God dwells in our hearts. Whilst this peace was written way back in 1939, the message is true for us today. And I encourage you to reflect on the significance of the hope that Jesus offers as you listen to this piece.
Thank you.